out to my uh, buddy Rick in Ohio um, I hope that was uh, I hope you can get something from that and I haven't played that song for a very long time and we're just kind of following through it anyway this uh, video is about humidifying your guitar or instrument about any instrument made of wood and we all know that most of them are uh, stringed ones anyway uh, I'm going to show you how I do it and uh, tell you you know how it should be done to your guitars uh, you should check that because uh, I'm going to show you what can happen if you don't monitor the humidification in your guitar a lot of things can go wrong lots of things can go wrong I'm going to show you a few of those things and show you uh, some different um, tools so to speak uh, to humidify guitars and instruments with and I'm going to show you what can go wrong and uh, how bad it can get. Hold on. Here's one guitar I'm humidifying right now. Uh, I have a hygrometer inside of it and as you can see a bowl with a washcloth dampened, not soaked, but dampened. Uh, if you really want to get the humidity in there quick, uh, you, don't, you don't want to do it too quick, but if you want to get a lot of humidity in there on a dry guitar this is one way to do it and to block the sound hole off with something uh, right now you can see the temperature is 69 degrees the humidity is 63 percent which is pretty high actually but that's what we want that's actually what we wanted you know high right now to to uh, get humidification in that box um, I'm going to show you some other things. Uh, this is just a homemade thing, just a, a small bowl and a washcloth in it. I'm going to show you some other things to uh, humidify your guitar with, assuming it's acoustic. Hold on. Okay, this is another guitar that I'm in the process of humidifying. I don't have a hygrometer inside of it, but I do have a dampet. It's a tool you can get if you want to call it a tool this is just a plastic cover that goes over the sound hole I don't know some of you have probably seen these before and some of probably never but it comes with this plastic cover you can attach the dampets to the cover and what these dampets do are they look they're similar to a garden hose and you just soak them in water and then wring them out really well until they're just damp and you place them inside your guitar hole and put this cover over the hole that's uh, that's one method of of uh, humidifying your guitar on the inside and they usually need it you can look at a guitar and tell if it's really dry or not and if it needs humidification 90 percent of the time they need it um, and this is a great a little tool right here they're called damp it I don't know if you can read that or not it's got a little hydrometer in it just it's not accurate but it's showing all pink I don't know what that means but Anyway, this is one method for humidifying your guitar. It works great. It's, it's my favorite, actually. This is another method. This goes over the sound hole. 
you can actually uh, it's got a small sponge inside of here you actually just soak that in water and turn it upside down and push it to to wring out the excess water and stick it over your sound hole which I, I don't really recommend that but I like the damp it's better but this does help too uh, and it's a lot cheaper too but you know it's not nearly as good it's something you may want to think about another thing are these little guys should always have one of those in your case it's just I think it's filled with uh, with clay or something I'm not sure but you can see what it looks like you just stick that whole thing down in water and bubbles come out of it and it will soak up water and get really heavy and you just uh, pop the lid closed on it I'm, I'm working with one hand here it's got a couple of holes I don't know if you can see those a couple of holes in the top that lets uh, the water humidification out uh, you can make your own humidifiers for your case in fact I've got one right here this is just a small uh, Ziploc bag I sliced across it holes across it and just a uh, kitchen sponge is all that is you just soak that sponge in water squeeze it and I'm not going to squeeze it because it's got it's heavy um, Soak that in water and squeeze the excess out. Throw it in your guitar case. A couple of them. You can make those, man, for just, you know, a few pennies. It doesn't cost very much at all to make those. This guitar is a um, Blue Ridge BR-160. And uh, let me show you what humidity or lack thereof can do to a guitar that's not properly humidified. If you can see all the way up here, from right here all the way down, I don't, I'm trying to get the light right on this for you. It's cracked. It's busted. I know it's got some severe belt buckle marks on it there too, but we're only, I just want to point this crack out. This is because this guitar it was so dry. Uh, they'll come apart the sides. Sometimes they will actually bust on the sides. Uh, or, or like this one, the back of it came apart, split. Sometimes the top splits. Sometimes the neck moves. Uh, the top of this one looks pretty good actually but it does have a, uh, a bad crack up the back of it and it's from uh, lack of humidification it, it doesn't hurt the sound of this guitar any I can tell you that but uh, you need to humidify your guitars folks you need to uh, you should keep them in humidity from like uh, I don't know 45 percent to 55 percent roughly in that area uh, get you a hygrometer like I showed you in the other guitar if you want to mount uh, lay it inside the hole just to you know tell you or lay it in your case keep it in your case to tell you what the humidification is in your case and uh, keep it between 45 and 55 percent if you can I have dampened these again and I'll show you how they work. You just there's nothing to them really. Just run them in water, soak them in water, and squeeze all the excess out, and then make sure they are dry. You don't want to put wet anything wet on your guitar. Make sure they're dry. Stick them back in the sound hole. It's a lot easier if you just do it one at a time. But lay them down in there and then this cover goes over the sound hole to hold that that humidity inside um, 
I like I say I keep one of these in every guitar case I have in fact I need to soak that again but you know and then you have this if you want to you know just uh, these are not very good by themselves like I say a bowl a small bowl with a washcloth uh, soak the cloth wring it out put it in the bowl set it back in your sound hole and close the case cover the sound hole close the case and leave it for a couple of days or so and check it if it's dry you know wetting it again put it back in give it a couple more days um, tops will start to belly up you get what we call a hump right here where the neck meets the body and uh, if you look at a guitar that the sound hole is sunk in and you look this way across the neck and you see a hump here and, and right here in this area the strings are very high then that guitar is starving it's begging for humidity inside and out sometimes the finish will just like shatter all over sometimes it will just crack the wood will actually crack as you saw on the back of this guitar a lot of things can go wrong with your guitar people if you don't take care of it uh, you have to monitor that be aware of it check your instruments see if it's dry if it needs humidified doesn't hurt to humidify them if you don't if you can't tell or don't know uh, get one of those dampets or, or a bowl with a, a um, washcloth in it or you know and humidify your case put one of these in the case you can get these about any music store um, it's really important because this stuff happens over time and it happens you know you don't see it until it's too late and then you gotta take take it to someone and pay a bunch of money to have it repaired but um, proper humidification is extremely important especially with acoustic guitars acoustic instruments seem to be more uh, more so than electric ones do but they all need some type of humidification now as I said before the dampets are my favorites uh, they seem to you gotta check them every day or every couple of days they dry out pretty fast and they're they're not the best to take on the road with you I, I would probably once you have your guitar humidified this keep keep that moist inside of there and keep this in the sound hole over the sound hole once you have the guitar humidified uh, that that one there is you know is probably plenty I have these these off I made in fact I have I think two of those yeah there's two of them in the case helps humidify keep the humidification on the outside of the guitar up um, I can't say it enough folks in these winter months when you run your heat a lot your home is probably dry uh, probably your guitars are probably drying out and you don't even know it until something bad happens and it's uh, it's too late then but you know something like this you can make it's just a, a ziploc bag and a piece of kitchen sponge in it make a couple of them throw them in your case or get the the round black one round ones are not all black that I showed you keep you know one of those in your case you have to keep your guitars humidified I mean believe me you can get in big trouble I've seen guitars so dried out before that you know everything was wrong with them play playability wise so uh, that's my story for today um, in the summertime when the humidification is up uh, air conditions usually are good to have around to keep you know keep your some sort of control in the humidity in your house uh, in the winter time when you are running a lot of heat like I say the air gets dry and, it, and your guitars are suffering from that so much can go wrong you don't want that to happen believe me I've seen it I've had it happen to me I get guitars all the time that are are just uh, so dry they you know people hang them up by wood stoves and coal stoves they think it's good for them uh, no don't do that so I hope this helps some of you 
Um, check your guitars. Whether they look dry or not, put some type of humidification in the case. And I would even recommend putting some type of humidification inside of it because it's probably way under where it should be. So, uh, yeah, and I was going to say that the dampets are not good to travel on the road with because they move around inside of there. Something could happen that probably you wouldn't want. But once you have it humidified, this is, is nice to take on the road with you. You know, moisten that, stick it in a sound hole, close the case, and you're not going to lose, you know, a lot of humidification from inside the guitar while you're traveling on the road. The dampets work on the road too, but like I say, they're, they're long and they could possibly move around inside and, you know, you probably don't want that, but... Anyways, that's uh, today's lesson, kids. I hope it helped some of you and you got something out of it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thanks to the old subscribers. And let's keep them coming. Tell everyone to sign up. <laughs> Cheers, folks.